I'm getting lucky with the food options today. No chips allowed, except for today, because I need them for the video. We love a sustainable option. Fun things to include to make my sandwich more unique. Geeking out so much about all this stuff. Apples are a school lunch staple. Let's do a little experiment. Prevent those apples from turning brown. We're in small berry season. I feel like we came here once and like there's like eight strawberries in the container because they were so big. Some people think this is me. No, I'm not Jordan Peele's. I am me. I am one of the clones from us. My niece had this apple. They were like this big. It looks like, I don't know what it looked like. It looked like a golf ball, but it was an apple. They only have the big apples here. There's a plethora of methods out there. Lemon plus water is popular, but not the most effective. We're testing a salt soak and a honey soak. A small spoonful and some honey and a second bowl. Let these soak for three minutes and I left an apple slice out of each as a control. Have you heard of this method? Keeping a sliced apple together with a rubber band? It's not that effective and it's more effort than it's worth. I want baby arugula on my sandwich but I feel like people will be like, you bougie. Okay, we're doing arugula just cause I love it. And if it's green, it's good, right? I do want to go to the nice deli and get some nice deli meat, but we're also going to be affordable and get some smoked versus oven roasted. Yes, please. I think I already have condiments at home. This is a case where I did not check my pantry before I came grocery shopping. Now they're ready for a strain and rinse. Let's leave these salt treated apples out for a little bit and see how they do. Honey apples, strained and rinse. Same with these, gonna leave them out, test how they do. I let these sit out for a while and I must say the salt soak is nearly perfect. This is an apple slice soaked in the salt water solution. Here's the control and this one is our winner and not salty at all. These taste amazing. And that rubber band apple was a total fail. These apples were soaked in the honey water. They did pretty good. I give this experiment an A plus. Soak those apples in salt water. They'll stay fresh all day. Jalapeno cheddar loaf. And he was saying that he makes a sandwich inside of there, just stuffs it with deli meat. Actually, that's what I'm doing. I'm making sandwiches. So I'm gonna pick one of those up. It's a big bread haul. Got bread for the week and a little treat to try in here. So this bakery, they just started this new pizza bread and it looks amazing and a little difficult to eat. <laughs> That's amazing. Really interesting combination. Walnuts, pepperoni, caramelized onion, potato, and house made pesto on sourdough focaccia. The bread is super flaky and crispy, but fluffy on the inside. That is really amazing. I wanted to come to this local Italian deli. And since I'm constructing sandwiches and lunch stuff, I just wanted some fun things to include to make my sandwich more unique. I need some truffle oils to go with my fancy arugula. White truffle oil. Ooh, should I get some truffle oil? That's $45. We might not get the truffle oil. Just a whole sandwich and Nutella. Maybe that's what I should do. You know what I want? Some like jardiniera, you know, like spicy stuff for a sandwich. Peppercinis are happening. Hot jardiniera, spicier the better. Am I just getting like everything spicy for a sandwich? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'll tone down the heat. Not everything has to be spicy. Let's do the hot soppressata. I'll do some of the pepperoni. I'm looking at this. Is it calabrese hot salami? Yeah, that looks good. It's a life goal for me to get one of those slicing, deli slicing machines. I want one so bad. I am gonna get some cheese. I think I'm gonna go for the creamy Havarti. Italian Fontino. The wheel, Baxter, you ate an entire wheel of cheese. Let's get like six slices. <laughs> Italian Fontino. If we didn't already buy bread, I would definitely get this. Look who was here. I'm in good company. Ah! The man, the myth, the legend, Guy Fieri was here. Sometimes you gotta go to a specialty deli or specialty shop for the good stuff. You have your lunch packed, but there's a crucial snack that can get crushed. These really are so good. Here's how to protect chips in your lunch box. You know how like everybody has a snack weakness? Chips is it for me. A bag of chips does not last long, so no chips allowed, except for today because I need them for the video. Alrighty pack of small bags. And then kettle chips are my favorite, so we'll be getting those. Blast from the past. These are like vintage Doritos. Do you think these are new or do you think they found these in the back of a warehouse somewhere and they're like, they never go old, so just might as well put them in grocery stores. This one's fun and super simple. Add your chips to a bag. You know me, I love a reusable bag. And you wanna leave some extra room in there too. Seal it up and leave a little gap at one end. Insert a straw. Now I promised you fun. Blow air into the bag as you quickly seal it. 
This may seem a little ridiculous, but it's gonna be effective. That air will act as a cushion so those chips don't get crushed. It's the same reason those store bags have extra air in them. And of course, pack those lightweight crunchable items on top. The other go-to, just use a hard shelled container. The only crunching happening here is between my teeth. Nobody's got a crush on you, except for maybe Mandy Moore. They have so many sustainable food storage options here. So many lunch options, reusable cutlery, chopsticks, reusable straw. A lot of cool options here. I like something that's dishwasher safe, so these are cool. Oh, this color pattern's fun. Reusable snack bags, I kinda like these. This is exactly what I was looking for. Some of these beeswax paper. You can use this to wrap sandwiches and your stuff for your lunches. Wax food wrap, washable, reusable, compostable, eco-friendly. We love a sustainable option. I love this sushi one. Cactuses maybe, that's fun. So let's get one of the packs. It comes with a 12 by 12, a 10 by 10, and an eight by eight. And let's just pick up a second eight by eight. Roller skating, bowling. That's not bowling, that's a moon. <laughs> that's no moon. This one has astronauts on it. You know I need to have this one. Sorry, desert wrap. Can I get the space themed one? I'm such a sucker for like a reusable cup with like one of these lids. These are amazing. I think I need one. You probably think it's easier to order takeout instead of packing your lunch. Here are my tips for a better packed lunch. With so many reusable options, single-use plastic should be a lunch thing of the past. I've completely moved to bags like this. They're great. And replace that cling wrap film with wax paper. This stuff is washable, sustainable, and out of this world. And it makes packing lunches fun with all the different colors and patterns you can find. Don't forget to treat your apples with salt water solution so they don't turn brown. So versatile for lunches or even leftovers. So we'll do the Italian combo. See how you throw it together. All right, let's do it. We gotta check out this sandwich. This is one of the best sandwich shops in town. Renowned chef created this place. Payne Bianco. Oh my gosh. I love pickly stuff on a sandwich, so. It's like the perfect Italian sandwich. Spicy, vinegary, so good. I'm getting lucky with the food options today. Nobody likes a soggy Sammy. A light toast of that bread will help it keep its texture. Ready, pack condiments on the side and add them right before you're ready to eat. Use your lettuce or greens as a barrier. Cheese also makes a great barrier to prevent soggy bread. Those really wet ingredients like pickles or tomatoes, keep those in the center. And when you can, choose a hard container to prevent smushing. I'll see you at noon. Some assembly required, but you're gonna have a better sandwich come mealtime. What really helps, prep and portion ahead of time so you can just grab and go. This is perfect for families so kids can just grab the items they want and build their own lunch. Also keep those pantry snacks organized to make the week effortless. All that's left is to pack your favorite lunchbox. Now that's a lunchtime problem solved. This is the final nail in the Bed Bath & Beyond saga, my eternal search for an open Bed Bath & Beyond now that they've all closed down. Guess what has taken over for the last standing Bed Bath & Beyond? It's been replaced by Spirit Halloween. Last nail in the coffin. I can't think of a more fitting conclusion. We're in the right section. Exactly what I was looking for. Look at these lunch containers. These look great. 20 piece lunch container set? So many options. Maybe I just get this. The whole set is 40 bucks. 20 set, 20 piece. I do wish I remembered my gift card though. Oh, this is heavy. What's a whole salad kit? This may be a bit much. I like it, but a salad bowl. I really like this color too. Or do I like blue? I like the gray, actually. Little condiment bottles for lunches. It's a nice little bento box style food container. My favorite thing about lunch containers are like the small ones. Didn't drop it, caught it. Oh my goodness. So glad we came here. They have so much good stuff. This stuff feels so good. Whatever it's made out of feels so nice. Seal type bolt, dishwasher safe, microwave safe. If you're purchasing lunch stuff, check what it's made out of because you want something easy to clean. If you're resetting your lunch every day, make sure the stuff that's packed in can just be thrown in the dishwasher. You run it, it's clean in the morning. This is your typical cold sandwich lunch. But I wanna show you three ways to keep a hot lunch. Choosing the right container matters. If you're planning to pop this in the microwave, make sure it's microwave safe, and even more importantly, easy to clean. The right container can make all the difference. So like a hot food container, just like keep your soup hot all day. 
or like pasta or any kind of hot food. And it's really lightweight. You can even do like hot cereal or cold. Something like a yogurt bowl, it'll keep it cold. I think we definitely pick up one of these. I'm geeking out so much about all this stuff. I love containers. I don't even think I have room in a cabinet for any of this, but we're just gonna go with it. When reheating isn't an option, insulated containers are having a renaissance. These can come in a variety of shapes and sizes and are designed to keep that food hot for hours. They're actually designed to work for hot and cold. It's good to note that these don't heat food, they just keep food hot. So make sure that meal is piping hot when you pack it. And in cold temperatures, you'll want to pack this in another insulated cooler. Just one more layer to make sure that lunch is hot when you're ready. The real trick, give your container a head start. Fill it with boiling water. Let this warm up while you heat and prepare your meal items. Nice and toasty. Carefully drain that water and load in your favorite recipes. Quickly load everything up to keep that heat trapped in. My new cleaning friend. Just did a series on Barkeeper's Friends. The first time I've introduced a product to problem solve that isn't, that isn't vinegar or baking soda. <laughs> but you know, when it really works, it works. I have a narrow fridge, so narrow storage options. Figuring out the right organizing solutions can be a challenge sometimes. I want this. Now, wouldn't this be the ultimate lunchbox? This just looks so retro and cool. It's a little big though. <laughs> I don't know if all my bottles would fit in here, but I need to measure my cabinet first before I pick those up. So much inspiration, so much organization. I could literally spend all day here looking at every single container and box and bin that they have, but I have to practice some restraint at some point. Paparazzi! <laughs> For offices and dorm room, a small crock pot is a great way to heat up meals. And you can even find versions smaller than this. This is perfect to have that meal warm and ready when you get out of class or a meeting. And cleanup is just a dishwasher away. So now when it comes to packing your lunch, you have so many options. 